This is Louise for MMA Crazy and I'm here with David Rickles who takes on MVP this Friday at Bellator 200. Um, how was your journey over? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I got delayed. I slept, I slept in the airport overnight. I got about two hours of sleep, but we're here. I'm in London. Like, what's not to love about London? Actually, I don't know yet. <laughs> Should I love London? I don't know yet. I want to find out. Uh, so, yeah, I'm glad to be here. Have you been before? Have you been to the UK before? I've never been really. I've been to Mexico, which I survived Mexico, barely. So I'm hoping London will be a similar experience. And you're taking on MVP, who of course is the hometown guy. What did you think about uh, coming over here for this event and taking on someone like Michael Van Page? Thank you for the free vacation, Bellator. I, I'm excited to come over here and fight the best of the best, man. I've been doing it since, well, since I've been in the game. That's what I've been doing, man. It's Bellator 200. Uh, this will be my 20th fight for Bellator, which will set the record. So if that tells you anything about how long I've been fighting and fighting for Bellator, like, this is just a fight, you know? Like, I'm not expecting to be a world champion tomorrow. I just like to fight. Sign me up. Sign me up for some fun fights. When they called and they said MVP, I said, the guy that wears karate pants and karate boots? Yeah, sign me up for that guy. Let's go. London? You gonna let me fight in London? Let's go. Sign me up. Bring my family over. Do so you have your family with you as well? Yeah, my wife's gonna be over here soon, and um, all my, you know, my family is my my coaches and friends as well too. Like so, shoot, we got we got this little MVP fight plan. I'm going. I gotta experience a soccer game while I'm here. I'm going to a soccer game at Wembley Sunday, and then we're going to Amsterdam to do drugs. Not do drugs. I take that back. Don't do drugs. Do not do drugs. Um, so what do you think about MVP? I know on Instagram you said that you think he's only fought bums and that his last fight you thought he lost. So can you elaborate a little bit about what you think about him as a fighter? I'll elaborate this much. A, anyone who steps in the cage is not a bum, but he ain't fought me yet. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, check it out. Hey, hey, this dude, this dude, this dude, this dude, they're all going to be surprised. I'm not going to be surprised when I whip his ass Friday. Okay, I mean, he's... You too. You're going to be surprised too. I'm going to show you. I'm sure you will. And uh, he is, of course, a, a very uh, different... His style is very different. You know, so, so how have you kind of been preparing for that? Have you had anyone to kind of emulate him at all? Or talk a little bit about the preparations? Well, I watched Snakes on a Plane uh, on the way over here. And uh, I've also signed up for breakdance fighting. And um, I feel like the practices went really well. And you think that's going to help you in, in terms that of... That translates. Uh, that translates. What are you talking about? Venom, dancing. What else do, what else do I have to train for? Get the connection. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There has been a lot of dancing in practice. Um, it's kind of funny. It's like telling your training partners to like practice that sort of thing has been like really funny, man. Like, <laughs> so you have been trying to get them to. to <laughs> yeah, like they're trying to, but I mean, how do you emulate that guy? Like, I don't know. I don't. Yeah. So, I've just been preparing my body and my mind for the fight. That's it. That's honestly what I always do, though. Like, I don't really ever prepare for the fighter. I just prepare myself. And obviously, you said you've been in the in Bellator for a long time now. Um, what do you think about his level of competition? And do you think he's ever fought anyone like you in terms of your experience? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm also very, like, I think just honesty is the best way to go about it, man. Is like he hasn't. I think I'm the best competition that he's gonna fight so far, um, which which I love about that. Like, I'm yo MVP is super talented, right? Um, let's see how let's see how good he is. Let's see how great he is. Is he great? I don't know. We go find out Friday night. Because, I mean, quite frankly, if you're not a world champion, you can't beat me. Do you, oh, you made the move to welterweight as well. Talk a little bit about that. And, and uh, is this somewhere you're going to be staying now? Uh, man, I just made, what I did is made the choice, like, you know, I, my cuts to 55 were getting so bad that, like, I fucking hated fighting. And, like, yes, I had to use an F-bomb for that. I had to. I hated fighting. Like, I started to, like, not enjoy fighting anymore. And 
I was like, well, there's no 65 or there's no 62, which would be like a perfect weight class for me. So why not just bump back up to 70? I fought first half of my career at 70, so we'll just go back. I got more man muscle now, too. I was a little boy when I was fighting 70, whipping grown men. So uh, I'm a dad now. I got a dad body. 170. So. So I mean, what can the fans expect to see from you? Obviously, the London fans here are going to be, you know, the crowd is going to be hyped, especially for MVP being the the hometown guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so I mean, what can the fans expect from you? I'm I'm a villain. I'm a straight villain when I walk out. No, I don't know, man. I hope what they expect is like, I know what they expect. They're going to expect like the show, you know, like they're going to expect the Venom show, man, and. I think what they're going to see is it's going to turn into a, a, a lot more than that. I think uh, a lot of people are counting me out on this fight, man, and uh, I'm going to surprise a lot of folks. And what have you got planned for your walkout? Magic. Pure magic. Actually, we, we're going to do uh, what, an actual uh, remake. We're going to put a bridge up, and then it's going to fall down. Like a London Bridge. Yes, there you go. See, she's smart. She's looking at her. She's like, a bridge that falls. London Bridge falling down. No, of course I'm not doing that. That would be way too elaborate. Um, but I couldn't bring over a dinosaur or my any of my other like real big props. Not props, real dinosaur. Uh, so I don't know. I got stuff planned though. I'm j I just have a good time. Like that's what I'm trying to do while I'm out here. We look forward to seeing the fight on Friday. Thank you very much. I hope you get your luggage. I hope so. Very much. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.